Now let's take a look at problem number 21. In 21, we'd like to find the derivative of the function f of x is equal to cosecant inverse of 2x plus 1. So the first thing that we need to know when we're taking the derivative of cosecant inverse of something is what if I just had the function y equals cosecant inverse of x? Then what would the derivative be in that case? Well, the derivative would be y prime is equal to negative 1 over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Okay, so the derivative of cosecant inverse of x is negative 1 over absolute x times the square root of x squared minus 1. So whatever x is over here, and in this case what I have inside the cosecant inverse is a 2x plus 1, then when I take the derivative, that's what I'm going to plug in for my x's over here. All right, let's try it. So I get f prime of x is equal to... Uh, so I get the derivative of cosecant inverse of something is negative 1 over absolute value of that something. And in this case, it's 2x plus 1. So I get 2x plus 1 times the square root of this guy squared, of x squared, but in this case of 2x plus 1, 2x plus 1 squared minus 1. But then I need to multiply that by the derivative of what's on the inside. But the derivative of what's on the inside in this case is 2. So I just multiply this thing by 2, and I've got my derivative.